Are we are you? traveling. Rosanna and Madeline are traveling, so they will not uh -huh. be with us. And I've graciously volunteered to take a break from my Canadian Thanksgiving festivities of eating turkey. And nice of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, we'll give it, well. We'll start at 9:04 Apple time because my time on my computer is set by Apple and Cupertino. <laughs> okay. Which is two minutes from now, but. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about Summit. Well, first of all, we're going to get consensus that it's okay to talk about Summit and that there are no burning issues uh, that um, require someone to talk about non-Summit. Okay. And I, I think a lot of these Summit videos are, are coming up. So if you did not have... Uh, the honor and privilege that I had and many of these people on this call had to go to the summit, then you can see some of the awesome uh, keynotes on video. Yeah, I saw um, I saw Mitchell's this weekend. Finally, the, that was broadcasted in in Santa Clara, though. No, we uh, we watched the taped recording, oh. I believe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, we watched I mean, the taped in Toronto as well. Yeah, I mean the the I mean Mitchell's I, I like Mitchell. I like I like that we have a non coder in charge. But someone who's also very technical, she uses Thunderbird. I've seen her, I've watched <laughs> her use Thunderbird. <laughs> that make that makes her really technical. <laughs> well see, we had at the last summit we Thunderbird team and contributors had a private session with, with, with Mitchell. um Mitchell. And we talked about how she uses Thunderbird because she she just wanted to know what was going on. This was uh, 2010, right? And she wanted to show us how she used Thunderbird and, and, you know, that it's a vital part of her life. Because even back then, Thunderbird was getting diminished, you know, wasn't as big as it could have been. So that was very cool. And I'm pretty sure that she hasn't changed. I mean, she's been using Thunderbird forever, obviously. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Roland, um, and uh, welcome to the Sumo meeting. It is thir Monday, 14th of August. It is Monday, 14th of August. Welcome to the Sumo meeting. October. October. Oh, of October. I wish it was August. And uh, um, Roland Rosanna has Madalena. Thanksgiving brain. <laughs> yeah, Roland, why are you online? Because I volunteered. Rosanna and Madalena are, are flying back to Europe. And I volunteered, and it's really a nice break from my eating turkey uh, <laughs> duties. Okay. Uh, duties. And yeah, you know, if you if anyone's ever been to a Canadian Amer, I'd imagine American Thanksgivings are similar. It's all about eating uh, vegetarian turkey, it's, tofurkey, or turkey. Is it like 9 a.m. over there? So you started yes. eating turkey already? Oh my God. Oh, I'm still I'm still <laughs> suffering turkey hangover. Isn't that what happens in America, too? All right, All right so um, gals and guys, um, at the suggestion of Madalena and Rosanna, unless there is something urgent, urgent uh, for status, I think we should skip the status updates this week um, and then just talk about Summit. Your reflections, I'd like to give everybody two minutes to talk about their Summit uh, memorable moments, and then you can always add more to the Etherpad. Um, is that okay? Does anybody have any burning issues in any of our products or areas of Sumo to discuss before we move on to Summit? <laughs> Kadir is moving his lips, but nothing is happening. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, because um, I'm loud and I, and I tend to monopolize the conversation, I'm going to talk about my Summit experience, and then I'm going to arbitrarily pick um, Alco to go next. <laughs> uh, and then our Alco can arbitrarily pick somebody else to go next. Um, in two minutes or less, my summit experience. I, I thought the Sumo sessions were fantastic. It was great to meet the Asians in Santa Clara. I was in Santa Clara. Um, and the Sumo sessions were fantastic because reward and recognition is key part. Um, meeting the Sumo people, although I'm sad that I didn't meet uh -oh, I'm sad that I did not meet uh, everybody in all three locations. Was awesome. 
And of course, open badges, which I've been driving the first phase, talking to the uh, Mozilla Foundation open badge people was fantastic. And meeting other people who do open badges was fantastic. And last but not least, the Bollywood dance party. I mean, the dance party in Santa Clara was fantastic. Um, I didn't know Mozillians were so good at dancing. And in fact, even the non-Indians were good at Bollywood dancing. I think this is a worldwide phenomenon. Okay, I'm done. Alko. Uh, okay. My turn. Uh, my summit uh, was amazing. <laughs> I was uh, totally amazed uh, by all the people. I, uh, I've been able to, to meet uh, many, many people. I met M Michael uh, cool. in uh, Brussels. And uh, okay, I met many many people, and uh, I was totally amazed. Uh, I'm, I don't know. Okay. Fascinating experience. <laughs> yeah, it's only been a week. You're probably still processing. <laughs> okay. So, um, who's next? Who's next? Uh, you pick. Maybe Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, yes, meeting people was definitely uh, one of the highlights. Um, yeah, I, I got to meet all kinds of people, like Alex there, who I've never, uh, haven't met in person, or uh, Ibrahima was somebody that I'd never met in person. Um, there were lots of people. Um, Simone from uh, Italy uh, finally met. I talked to him over email and, and uh you know, sumo stuff for years now. Um, I have to meet him in person. Um, so all, that was all very cool. Um, uh, you know, you guys uh, in the other places saw a taped uh, version of Mitchell doing her thing at the beginning. It was great to see her there in person. And on Friday night, speaking of dancing, on Friday night, I <laughs> tagged up with uh, our UX team who went to some, we went to some little club. There was a Mozillion who was a DJ uh, <laughs> doing there. And, and we were dancing all night. I mean, like till, I don't know, three o'clock in the morning. And Mitchell came and was dancing with everybody. It was so much fun. It was total blast. See, as a wannabe dancer, I'm, I'm <laughs> that disappointed. I danced with Mitchell and Whistler in 2010. And I couldn't dance with her in Santa Clara. This is unjust. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else? Uh, I mean, the sumo session that we had was, I thought, was really great. We had a really good, I thought, a really good conversation, especially around the idea of what language we, we um, default to in a locale when things are not localized, um, which is something like, I know, Kadir and I have been talking about, uh, you know, thinking about uh, we're probably doing it wrong in some places, and uh, there's some some better things that we could do. Um, anyway, so that came up, and and there were I thought a lot of good ideas about that. Um, so cool. very very interesting. Had a great time. Uh, so who's next? I'm gonna pick uh, Patrick. <laughs> Uh, Toronto was awesome. Uh, it was it was very cool to uh, to actually get to sit down and talk to a bunch of the contributors. Uh, we spent a lot of time with uh, guys like Noah and Fear Fifty Six, Andrew. All uh, right, what are they like? Joshua Einerd. Uh, they were they were all great. It was a good bunch of people to hang out with. Had a great conversation with Kinsey and. Uh, hope to get to talk ah, to her some more as well. Uh, the sumo session was awesome. Uh, we sat around and had Ricky and a couple of the other sumo devs in there with us. So, uh, you know, we were able to talk about our pain points and, and have them actually start. You could see the wheels turning in their head. So hopefully uh, we started some good conversations out of that and uh, we'll get some uh, cool things coming out of our session in Toronto. But yeah, it was my first uh, summit, and it was very inspiring to to hear all of the the talks, and had a great time meeting everybody. Uh, and now I'm glad to be back home in Seattle again. Uh, yeah. 
Go ahead. I was uh, sorry if I may be interject as I do. That's okay. I was really inspired by the Shumway demo. I mean, I've known about this for a long yeah. time, but as Firefox for Android, and probably Ralph would agree, if we could play the popular Flash videos, where popular is the top ten in every country where we're popular, where Firefox OS and Firefox Android are popular, we could play by the top ten video sites for those countries. Magic yeah. will get so. Sh video is Shumway. so hilariously bad. Shumway was super cool to see. Um, we had a bunch of the guys working on the game project there. Um, so I got to talk to Martin Best, which was awesome to, to geek out about games with some. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. You're a gamer guy. Yeah. So it, it, was, it was just a great time in Toronto. And as Kadir will probably tell you, they have the best cookies mm -hmm. in the world in Toronto. <laughs> what? Chang wasn't there? No, Chang wasn't there. So uh, I will pick uh, Ibai. You go next. Okay. So what about Brussels? I, I, I must say, I must start with the fact that I, I was a side host. Uh, so I experienced a fairly different summit at some points, like running around rooms, trying to make sure that everything was this smooth. But it was really pleasant to see how everyone was like super devoted to uh, getting the best out of the summit. Everyone's like uh, running just to make sure that they were not late for their 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 talks. Uh, there was there were a lot of talks uh, in Brussels. I think that they, they were basically the same schedules, right, uh, across the board. Yeah, I think so. so. It was the same agenda everywhere. Uh, so yeah, I think that that that's. To me, one of the things that I got from being a side host is that I bonded really, uh, I bonded quite a lot with a lot of people that I, I knew, but I didn't have the chance to talk as much and, and, and just interact as much. So I think that I didn't have the time to, to have, to talk to a lot of uh, people that I normally don't see. Uh, so I'll go, we, we saw each other, but we didn't talk that much. I, I hung out with Ibrahima for a little bit, a little bit with the Mozilla Hispano guys, but uh, I think that it was a, 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 a slightly different. So that, that's one aspect. The other one is, as you guys already, as you guys already said, I think that the, the talks were like really, really great. Uh, it, I think that the framework that uh, Mitchell presented was really good. I, it, it gives a really, it serves as a good uh, lighthouse for what we need to be doing at Mozilla. Uh, particularly things that we sometimes forget about, like we as Mozilla, we're a community of teachers. Um, we need to help use, ex expand our, our mission beyond the products. I think that that was that was really powerful and the other thing that I really really like and I think that nobody has mentioned it yet is uh, the web openness framework that this how, how is the status of the web oh yeah that was good yeah that uh, was, yeah that it was presented by Patrick Finch I guess that it was presented by Harvey uh, in somewhere in North America and someone else yeah in the Harvey other location Santa Clara yeah, yeah. Uh, that was that was really good too. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in general, just hanging out with another 600 Mozillians is always like a, a great experience. And in Brussels, we have beautiful beer, so I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna complain. Hurt me. <laughs> so, so Ibai, did you were you like the FBI agents? Did you have like a microphone in your ear? Uh, it's uh, earpiece. I it's a hack. I basically I broke this all headphones. No, I think he's talking about at the summit. Oh, oh yes, the... yes, yeah, like the walkie-talkie. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So I talked to Benjamin Carenza and uh, from Portland, and I thought he was like working for the. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought Benjamin was working for the uh, uh, outsource conference company. And it turns out, no, he's a Mozillian from Portland. He just had the <laughs> microphone on. It was weird. It was very FBI-ish. Yeah, we, we help a lot because, uh, as you guys know, there were 
a lot of double bookings and triple bookings in some rooms that were intended. Uh, the thing is that a lot of people were expecting to have uh, a whole room for them with projection capabilities and stuff like that. So we tried our best to accommodate that. The oh. good thing in Brussels was that the a lot of the rooms were splitable, so they have like one of these fake walls. So we basically redid all the schedule. The good thing is that uh, William Reynolds was there, so we could update the app on the spot and uh, uh, and the signage at the venue was electronic. So we managed to just change everything on the spot uh, without much much friction because people were looking at what was going on on the spot in their app. So that was, I think that did work really well because of that. But yeah. it was a lot of work on just splitting rooms, opening them, splitting them, opening them, running around, changing chairs. Okay, I think you've exceeded your two minutes. <laughs> I'm boring, okay. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm not as exciting a moderator or coordinator as, as Madalena Rosanna. Um, <laughs> but that's awesome, next. You buy? Who do you want to go next? Uh, I, mean, I see Kadir laughing, so let's go with him. <laughs> oh, that was just me being frozen. Uh, oh. I guess no. <laughs> yeah, that's um, my internet. So I was in, I was in Toronto. Um, it was my third summit, uh, so I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect uh, because, like, after some time, you think like going to wear off, and it's not going to be as exciting anymore. But what was really surprising was it was like it was even better than the first time. It was so many people, and it was really mind blowing uh, seeing all of them together and and actually being able to talk to them after like years of working with them, like with Noah uh, and, and others who have been there, uh, Einar, uh, Joshua, um, and and like all, all the other people who have been there who have been on our forums and been discussing with me things for so long. Um, it was just great seeing them in person, finally. Um, that was the biggest biggest part for me, um, connecting to those people in real life, having dinner with them or lunch. And that's going to make things a lot easier for all of us uh, in the future. So this, is, this was a huge opportunity. And it was just as exciting as the first time, if not even more than the first time. So that, that was a surprise. I really loved that about it, the social aspect of it. But I was also hosting a session on uh, remote working um, and how people, like what pain points they were seeing and what best practices they were using. And um, um, we are going to share those in a, a brown bag. And, and that, was, that was amazing. Nice. Uh, that was really great. Uh, we had a great turnout. and. Um, the, the ideas that came together there, they were part of them, some of them were surprising, some of them was like, it was like, great. it's great to hear exactly that, that's exactly what we've been seeing. So it's great to hear from all of you that you are seeing the same thing, so we can share that. Uh, having that experience with other remotees was really great. Um, and I'm very thankful for, for the people who did the site hosting like eBay. Uh, to make that all possible, uh, like we changed rooms last minute and stuff like that. So, it, but it all worked out. That was pretty amazing. That was pretty great. Yeah, I, and it was, I, I, I deliberately, yeah. I deliberately did not volunteer to be a site host because I did, I wanted to actually be awake and and not exhausted at the end of the summit. But it sounds like you managed to fig, fig, figure out how not to be exhausted. Yeah, but that was really an amazing service that people did there, and without them, I don't think it would have possible. Uh, yay, to volunteers. do so many sessions, so that was really great. Yeah, really, yay, yay volunteers indeed. Um, so yeah, other than that, I was really blown away by all of the demos, and especially the gaming demo. That like seeing someone play Doom inside of banana bread inside of an <laughs> emulator or something. That was just like, whoa, <laughs> Inception. Yeah, so, no, it was total uh, Inception. That was. That was Totally amazing, and I can't see that actually um, being used uh, very, very soon in actual products. So that, that that's amazing. I, I want to see that, <laughs> and and being able to see that there on a demo that was also that was pretty that was pretty great. Yeah, it was an amazing amazing um, summit. I just wish we could do these more often.
like every six months <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> oh my God, once yeah. a year even, but so expensive. It's so hard to organize. Yeah, that's true. It was exhausting, but it was pretty amazing. Um, so I'm hoping for for some for, for being able to be able to do this sometime soon again with other people this time. Um, yeah, but that's me. So picking the next person here uh, who hasn't talked yet. Uh, <laughs> yes, I can. Portland. Yes, from Portland, please tell us, um, well, Ralph, what was your experience? Um, so yeah, it's uh, pretty much in line with what everybody said already. Uh, it was really impressive to uh, to see 600 uh, Mozillians in, in one room and everybody is so passionate uh, about uh, what they're doing, uh, about the whole mission, and then knowing that there's also 600 people in two other locations. Um, that's, <laughs> you know, everything <laughs> happening at the same time. It was, it was really amazing. Uh, I got to talk to uh, to a bunch of contributors, got to meet some new contributors, uh, uh, met a couple of contributors from Taiwan. That was really cool. They showed me a whole bunch of uh, um, of images that they did of the Firefox, and I thought it looked really cool. Um, unfortunately, there were some contributors from Brazil, from Mozilla, from Mozilla Hispano that couldn't go because of visas, uh, and then yeah. some of them couldn't get a visa to Canada, so they went to Santa Clara, uh, but it was, I mean, overall, it was a, it was a really, really amazing experience. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the next one, hopefully soon. Yeah, I would like to um, acknowledge those who had visa issues and who just couldn't make it because of work and life balance. Um, obviously, your life balance is more important than this, your volunteer work. So Ashish, um, and who was it else? Amishri, who couldn't make it. We missed you. Um, hopefully, um, there will be enough videos to get a flavor of what happened online. I know there are a few, and I'll try to post some links tomorrow when I come back from my Thanksgiving uh, stupor mm -hmm. uh, from eating too much turkey, which is what we do here in Canada on Thanksgiving. But yes, we're, um, all those people who couldn't make it, uh, we did miss you, and it would be so great if we could all be do this again. I know organizationally it's really difficult. Uh, I also wanted to say that um, if there's any feedback at all um, and you're too shy to speak up today, is there anybody else on the line? Michelle, uh, lurking, people who are not who are video muted, um, if you're too shy to speak up, um, you can put your 140 characters in the etherpad. Uh, you can always approach any of us. Uh, there are uh, summit feedback uh, uh, channels uh, and everyone knows summit.monzola.org, there's a way to give feedback there. Is that right? Summit.monzola.org, the web app. Um, my only feedback, uh, of course, uh, I have this fantasy world. Um, as a, I was a, a photographer, so I have this fantasy world where we would be able to upload via our mobiles uh, all the pictures we take in real time. But every time I try to upload via my MacBook Air or even my phone, uh, in my hotel room or anywhere else, it was impossible. Upload was impossible in Santa Clara. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how it was in Toronto and, and Brussels, but uploading stuff was... I don't know, Michael, if you took any video, if you tried to upload any video or stills? Um, well, not that there was a whole lot of time to uh, to try that, but in, yeah, in general, I, at, at least in Brussels, between the, the hotel, actually, um, I had better luck than in the conference uh, center. It was, it yep. was slow going, the Wi-Fi. But yep. I have to say, overall, I mean, I've been to a lot of conferences, and and this was so well put together, you know? Um, I mean, South by Southwest doesn't do as good a job. I mean, well, <laughs> they, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, technically, like, speakers, slides, microphone, schedule, like, it just... It was done really well. It was, I yep. mean, impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like you wouldn't get that it was like basically put on by by mostly by people who are doing this on a volunteer basis. This is not their everyday job, you know. Yeah. There were hardly any. Um, we I know we outsourced uh, to a conferencing firm, and I couldn't. There were hardly any of those people. You're right. Yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to say, if we now have time. Just, I guess we have time. Wrap up from Michael and anyone else interested. Well, you know, so the, the, the other summit that I went to, 
was three years ago. And just for some context, right? At that time, we like uh, we announced that we were gonna, you know, start working on Firefox four. Um, and oh yeah, and that's it right. Was really like it was really at the time where we were beginning to to come to the realization or say like um, we've won this like des this thing that we set out to do this like desktop browser market shakeup. Right. Yep. And um, but then there was like a it was kind of like the, a big question of for Mozilla. So now what do we do? Right. And um, and over the last three years. Right. It seems like we've been struggling with that question. We had a new CEO who was like, we got to do mobile, you know, and we we made a big push on Firefox for Android. And then like two, you know, in a year in, we're like, hey, Let's do this Firefox OS thing, you know, and we went crazy and built a phone and actually shipped it and, and all of that. But still, like, what's the larger vision that we're doing this inside of? And it feels like, like, you we know, have one. The keynote and everything really started to wrap that up. Like after like three years of kind of I mean, it's been you can see it the evolution of it. Right. When like we went to the Mobile World Congress with the mm -hmm. uh, web as the platform kind of thing and 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 this seemed to like okay we've really been thinking about this for the last three years and and you know this is what we're this is what we're we're doing going forward now and it, it seemed to be a nice we've made that turn from you know we we set out we accomplished this initial goal and now here's what we're what we're doing now it, 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 for me it was that was kind of one of the perfect parts about it yeah, yeah, and I, and I think it's an all-encompassing vision, Michael. So it's a vision of the cloud services, the products, and the what was the three other, other part, mobile. Um, but it's also a complete vision because it encompasses the thing that you've been talking about, user education and webmaker. I mean, honestly, I I honestly think you could have a team of three people working on user education. Um, and it wouldn't be enough, but it would be, you know, I know you're just doing it by yourself when, and you get some part-time help from people like me and stuff like that. But the whole idea of making the web open and friendly and approachable so it's makeable by all, which means you have to understand it, and understanding starts with user education um, from a, from a non-maker point of view, and it starts from web maker from a wake maker point of view. But we need all that, and it's all part of the same. It's all one whole. It's not like something you can chop up. You need all those pieces. Um, I think that was the message to me. Um, we are at 9:30. Maybe we could finish this meeting now. Does anyone else have any um, um, nice thoughts like Michael and I just had? That really oh. sums it up. Okay, going once, going twice. Uh, keep on rocking the sumo web. <laughs> I may channel Potch. I will see you next week and at the platform meeting on Thursday. Ciao. Bye. Thank you, Roland. And the mobile Bye. meeting on Wednesday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>